For those of you who don't know, I actually worked at McDonald's uh, the last couple years we lived in California. I worked there for almost two years, and that job, I had to say without a shadow of a doubt, was great. It was my first job in the private sector, my first job being in government, uh, federal government, I should say. And so be that being my first job in the private sector was a pretty big deal for me, and first impressions and first experiences are always a big deal. and. To say the least, uh, this job was outstanding. Uh, I had a lot of fun. My manager was great. Uh, all the ship managers were great. And the crew members were really great as well. I had a lot of good times with all of them there. And uh, I had actually worked hard enough to build up a good reputation for myself there. I started out as a crew member. Then I worked my way up to crew trainer and then ship manager. And that job really taught me a lot uh, about myself, like areas I didn't know that existed, like leadership skills, uh, learning how to deal with customers. Because at a job like that, especially like fast food and a job that involves customer service, you know, it's really, I guess you could say adventurous to say the least. And when you're dealing with a job like that and that involves customers 24 7 you definitely meet some interesting characters out there but you had, you had ice cream in your cup so what was that i'll take that oh it doesn't work anymore because you broke it just now i would go fix it then if i were you i would go fix it okay then i'll wait no it's not so you're asking yourselves why am i talking about this or why am i sh why am i showing you this well, I recently found a video. This is a McDonald's video, and I just could not believe this video when I first saw it. And, you know, I had no idea something like this existed, and I didn't really know what to think of it at first after watching it for the first time. And, you know, I just, I just need to show it to you guys real quick. So I was starving, so I had to get one quick sandwich from here. And I thought they gave me the wrong sandwich, but conveniently, McDonald's changed their packaging. Wow. What does that resemble? Here, so what is this? This one? Yeah, what is this new packaging? It's the uh, McChicken wrapper. But why is it blue and white? I honestly, I don't know. I think you do know. This is in support of Israel. They changed it. They I mean, it was like that actually since a few months ago because we ran out of the regular ones. No, I don't think so. This is obviously in support of Israel. No, I mean, we actually had that for a while, though. I just was here two weeks ago, and it wasn't like this. I mean, we have had it, though, because we also I know, have the red one. I know this is not your fault, because you're an employee, yeah. but I think this is disgusting for them to do this. Mm -hmm. And I know you in your heart, you know in your heart that this is clearly what this wrapper is for. But I mean, I don't know that, though. I'm, I'm explaining it to you. It is, this is what it's for. This is the color of their flag. Mm -hmm. This is clearly what they're doing. Mm -hmm and what they're showing to people and i think it's disgusting i'm just really upset that i got my order and i got this flag yes for for my wrapping and i'm sure i'm not the only one who's upset and who's shocked okay. to come to the drive through and receive this this wrapping yes so it's like i said at a job like mcdonald's you meet a lot of weird people interesting people and most of the time a lot of stupid people and the reasons why they're so angry and the reasons why they act the way they do, you know, it's beyond me. But it's something I had to deal with a lot of times, especially as a shift manager when I got that position. Um, but basically going back to the point of the video I just showed you guys, like I, like I said, I could not believe what this woman was saying to this McDonald's employee. This woman, no doubt, has very few brain cells. And the very few brain cells she has is, are not functioning properly, to say the least. This woman genuinely believes that this McDonald's hamburger wrapper, the wrapper that they use to wrap up the hamburgers in, the ones I've seen for a decent amount of time at the McDonald's I worked at, this woman genuinely believes that just because the color of this wrapper is blue and white, basically means that McDonald's is supporting the Jewish people. So you're sitting there going like, what, what, what are you talking about? And that's exactly what I was thinking too. I honestly, if that woman came up to me with that specific rapper and was complaining to me about the fact that it's blue and white and that this basically means that we're showing our support for the Jewish people, I would have looked at her and basically said, uh, lady, 
that's a McDonald's wrapper. And, you know, we've had those before. Like the guy said, we've used them before. We've had them. We have them. And at the end of the day, lady, this is a McDonald's hamburger wrapper. You know, the same wrapper that they use to wrap their hamburgers in. And then they serve it to the customer. That's literally all it is. But this woman clearly has no brain cells or very few brain cells. And the very few brain cells that she does have are definitely not functioning properly. And, you know, it's like the point is like these people that are so woke and they're just so insane. Like every single thing in life triggers these people. I really honestly don't know how these people, you know, live throughout their lives complaining about even just the most smallest things that have no meaning to anything. I mean, this woman is complaining about the color of a McDonald's hamburger wrapper because it's blue and white. She thinks that McDonald's is supporting the Jewish people in their war against Hamas and their war against Gaza. It's just like, what are you talking about, lady? You're crazy. That, that, the woman is clearly, you know, insane, and she obviously doesn't know what she's talking about. But, you know, I just, I just had to share this with you guys and, you know wanted to get your thoughts on it because this this woman is clearly out of her mind. Mm -hmm.